Hello and welcome to Inside Jacksonville, a production of the University of North Florida School of Communication, NSCW 17. I'm Katrina Reyes. Finally this month, the balls are racked, the cues are chalk, and we're ready to break for a look at pool on the first coast. And it can get competitive. Pool is mostly thought of as something you see in bars and pubs, but it's much more than that. The Jacksonville pool community loves to queue up, compete, and have fun, and what better way to do that than joining pool leagues like the USA Pool League. One of the biggest pool halls in Jacksonville is Cue Ball Billiards, which holds three USAPL divisions and 27 teams. Bobby Garza says that having more than enough people is what keeps it rolling in the USAPL. It's really fun, you know, when you get more teams to join in. It makes me feel like, you know, we're doing something right. USAPL not only welcomes pool players, but also anyone who wants to start playing pool. Any player can join the league regardless of skill level or age. We need all skill levels, and then it's up to you what you do with it. You know, if you want to come in and, and you want to improve your game, the USAPL is where it's at. We do allow juniors, anyone under the age of 18, as long as they are tall enough to reach the table and they can understand the rules, they are allowed to play. The league always shoots for camaraderie and teamwork. Players happily cheer for each other's games and shooting advice from coaches are accessible in your back pocket. Anybody who wants help, I'm willing to help them. Um, I work with them one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we stay later or come in earlier and put in two, three hours of drills. Teams around USAPL work together to compete the best way possible, and players have the opportunity for their skills to spin on top. So I'm gonna learn, I wanna get better. I always wanna improve, and with pool, there's always room to improve. Whether you want to kickstart your shooting prowess or take a break from work or school, everyone is welcome to join USAPL's pool playing extravaganza. You can join the USAPL and play your heart out while enjoying perks like raffles, cash payouts, and a chance to compete in Las Vegas. Now for Filipino American History Month, we feature Sip and Parole, an event that highlights the strong Filipino American community and their undying Christmas spirit. Sip and Parole was Jack's Filipino's first of its series of events for Filipino American History Month. It features Filipinos' love for Christmas and the art of making the star-shaped Christmas ornament called the Parole. The parole is um, usually lit up. Um, they're made of bamboo, so that's the inside part of the parole. Um, made of bamboo, then lights are put in it, and it is used as a lantern at Christmas time. Jack's Filipinos is a Filipino American organization that partnered with the Museum of Science and History for the parole making workshop. The event is also a part of Masha's Passport series, which features events from different cultures in the city. We really wanted to do something to showcase and celebrate the value of how diverse Jacksonville is. Though the workshop is Jack's Filipino's first event for the month-long celebration, many groups of friends and families have already shown up. 62 people gathered around to make the classic Filipino decor while also enjoying a refreshing drink and the delicious lumpia donated by three Filipino vendors. I love it. I've got to meet different Filipinas and Filipinos from the Jacksonville community and other people as well. It's really nice to just have everyone together in the same room and get to know who else is out here. Making the parole requires a lot of effort and precision, but making it at Sip and Parole was smooth sailing. The ready-to-design star frames, handy instruction packets, and trusty instructors keep the participants on track to making their best ornaments. The parole is an important part of Christmas in the Philippines. From the cutest, small ornaments to the largest ones that can line up the night sky, the parole symbolizes the Filipino Christmas spirit. Filipinos are deeply religious people and you know just to be able to express their culture through through Christmas um, is very important. Filipino Americans are the second largest Asian American group in the nation. With around 4 million Filipino Americans living in the U.S. and around 13,000 living in Jacks, preserving and celebrating the culture is undoubtedly essential. As we're getting now into the first, second, now third generation of Filipinos, you know, it's, it's becoming more important to understand where you came from. Events like Sip and Parole remind us to embrace our roots. The Parole is a star of the night thanks to the Filipino American community and their undying love for their culture. Jax Filipinos holds events throughout the year, and you can check them out on Facebook and Instagram at Jax Filipinos. 
Inside Jacksonville's Katrina Reyes takes us on a trip to Candyland with Sweet Pete's candy cane making class. Something sweet, something minty, something to cry for when it fell on the ground. The candy cane truly is one of the most classic treats for the holiday season. Sweet Pete's Candy holds candy cane making classes every November and December where people get to learn how the peppermint delight was made. It keeps the holiday season alive, you know, uh, once the people smell peppermint, uh, to me peppermint kind of perks you up and makes you feel happy and you know like it's a fun uh, candy so uh, we like to keep the tradition going, uh, we, we like to see the people come in. Uh, you know, full of the holiday spirit and things like that. The class was fully booked on November 11th, which goes to show people's interest in the art of making the candy cane. Uh, it's very rewarding. Uh, people, and, and sometimes you got uh, people that come back or uh, every year, so that's definitely rewarding. Uh, but to see people come out and uh, respect the old school fashion way of making candy, uh, like I say, it's rewarding for me. Everyone in the class observes carefully as they learn how to make the candy cane in the traditional way. From adding peppermint and coloring to hand pulling and molding, hand making the candy cane is just as fascinating as its taste. Shaping is one of the most fun parts of the candy cane making class here at Sweet Pete's. You'll learn how to form that peppermint candy into that classic cane shape while also getting a chance to be creative. During the class, participants showed their skills and bent their candies to their will. Some shaped them into hearts, some shaped them into worms, and some shaped them into people. They also get to keep their works of art after their time with the class. It is absolutely fabulous. I highly recommend it to anybody of all ages. So cool. Very fun. I didn't know about the temperature we needed to be at, all of the ingredients. With more classes coming up throughout November and December, Sweet Pete's continues to bring people together and enjoy a sweet adventure. Katrina Reyes, Inside Jacksonville.